Hey guys, it's story time, episode 23, and today we're going to be reading out the classic children's Bible storybook, and, um, <clears throat> and it's the 23rd story in this, uh, Bible storybook, and, uh, it's a really good story, I studied up on it, and it's a really, um, awesome thing like at the end of the story um so yeah and we are being joined by patrick square and stampy jr yeah okay let's get started shall we let's do it so let me show you the pictures first off um here is well i don't know which is jake I think this one right here is Jacob, right here, and uh, right here is an unknown person, a stranger like, um, so yeah, or actually, I don't know, uh, basically I can't tell you, <laughs> um, who is who, but, um, let's get started. Jacob's new name, Genesis chapter 32, verse 1 through 31. And here's the Bible verses right here. Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What is your name? The man asked, he replied, Jacob, your name will no longer be Jacob, the man told him. From now on, you will be called Israel, because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Genesis chapter 32, verse 26 through 28. And I know right there, guys, you're probably wondering if you fight God, you know, like you can't win. Uh, yeah, I thought that too myself, and but it'll explain it in just a little bit, so let's get on. This is where it breaks the Bible verses down further, so let's get started. In due time, the Lord instructed Jacob to return home. Jacob was terrified that Esau would still want to kill him, so he sent gifts ahead to make Esau less angry. Just before he was about to meet his twin brother, an odd thing happened on a riverbank one night. When Jacob tried to cross over the river, a stranger... A strange man wrestled with him. It was quite a struggle as it went on and on. It seemed as if Jacob was gaining the upper hand. When the man tried to leave, Jacob grabbed him and begged for a blessing from him. He didn't even know him, but he needed the man to tell him something good, something great. And what happened next? The man asked him what his name was. Jacob, he replied. Then the man told Jacob that from then on his name would be Israel, which means someone who has struggled with God. So Jacob knew that the mysterious man was the Lord himself. The Lord had blessed him and given him a new name, Israel which is why all of his descendants are called Israelites. Jacob named the place where they wrestled Penel, which means face of God, because he said, I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been spared. And what I think uh, this Bible story means to me, guys, is that um, that Jacob, uh, he was going to return home, but he was afraid, uh, that, uh, his brother, twin brother Esau, which is the oldest one, uh, that lost his birthright because Jacob, you know what he done, check out my other story time, the last story time, uh, episode, uh, so yeah. I'm not going to get caught up in the other videos, but this video is what I'm going to be sticking on right now. 
Um, so Jacob was going to return home, but he still thought that Esau was going to kill him for uh, Jacob uh, taking the birthright away. You know how that happens. He uh, tricks his father, which his father was Isaac, which was blind and he couldn't see, only can hear and touch. So, yeah, he felt of Jacob, and it felt like Esau's arms, and, um, uh, but it was Jacob's voice, but then he was, he said that he was wrong, and that it was Esau, but it wasn't, um, so, Esau was meant to kill him, and I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I am anyways, but it helps with it, but, um, yeah, uh, then, uh, Jacob sent gifts to Esau, so that way it would make, uh, Esau less angry at Jacob, but, um, anyways, um, <clears throat> um, then Jacob went, uh, back to where he was, well, he was gonna go see his brother, he had to cross the river at night time, I think, and all of a sudden, a man just, uh, starts wrestling with him, and, um, after they wrestled on and on, um, well, it seemed that, uh, Jacob was getting the, like, winning, put it that way, like, he was winning, and, um, later on, we know that, uh, Jacob just grabbed him when the guy left, well, it was starting to leave, um, and he said, uh, I can't let you leave until you, uh, give me a blessing, and the man asked, um, what's your name, and he said, Jacob, and he, and the guy said, um, your name will no longer be Jacob, uh, it will be Israel, and that's, um, uh, so that's how, uh, his descendants, which means a group of people, of his people, is called the Israelites. And, uh, we know, uh, later on, uh, God sends the Israelites to kill the Canaanites. Um, I think that's how it was. But anyways, I'm not going to get caught up in that. But, um... So, yeah, then he revealed that it was the Lord the whole time because he said, uh, you know, you fought with God and you fought with men and you uh, won. So, and also, um, Jacob seen the face of God and, um, but God spared his life um, and... What we know now is, like, if you see the face of God, well, I mean, like, in other Bible stories, you know, if somebody sees the face of God, they'll die, but Jacob didn't, so God spared his life, uh, well, spared Jacob's life, so that way he would live and tell the story, basically, that's why I think, um, but yeah, that's what it was meaning, like, uh, like, we struggle with, like, it says, like, um, it says right here, uh, okay, um, let's see, Jacob, he said, then the man told Jacob that from then on his name would be Israel, which means someone who has struggled with God. So Israel means struggled with God. So he struggled with God, um, like when there's wrestling, and, um, but then uh, Jacob won uh, somehow, um, but... Yeah, that's how he gets his new name, and that's how you know about the, uh, well, his descendants, which is the Israelites, 
So, yeah, that's basically all the story means. And next week's story, guys, Bible story is... Uh, Bible story episode 24. Um, it's very short, actually. It's called Jacob and Esau Make Peace. So, both brothers make peace with each other and they hug. There's uh, Israel and there's Esau. So now, well, it says Jacob and Esau, so it's Jacob and Esau, but his new name's Israel. But yeah. So, please like, subscribe, and comment below, guys. Don't forget Jesus Saves, and don't forget to eat some Oreos on my other channel. channel. <laughs> I've had my tongue tangled about two weeks now, but anyways, God bless.